it's us guess pee time. And luckily, I am ready. In fact, I'm so ready that if we don't start soon, I think I'm gonna turn red. And then we'd have a red rat on our hands. A ready red rat. Well, let's get stuck in with this first question, which is a video from Emily. Hi, GGSP. My name's Emily and I have one question for you. Why in Minecraft do monsters come to abandoned villages? Thanks. Thanks, Emily. I think there's a good chance that the monsters you're referring to are actually zombie villagers. Depending on which form of Minecraft you're playing, there's a certain percentage chance that a village will spawn in the game as a cobweb-covered abandoned village, also known as a zombie village. So you'll often find zombie villagers here instead of regular ones. If you want to avoid encountering zombie villagers, you could try playing in peaceful mode. And did you know that there are ways to cure zombie villagers and turn them into regular ones? Like using a splash potion of weakness, then a golden apple, and waiting around for a few minutes. Huh, fancy that. <laughs> but back to the question of why zombie villagers spawn in these eerie villages. I guess the Minecraft developers just thought it would be kind of neat. And I mean, if I was a zombie villager, I'd want to hang out in an abandoned village, wouldn't you? And now moving on to our next question, and this one comes from Eggmaster1234. Ooh. Hi there. I was just wondering if it was worth getting the DLCs for Forza Horizon 4, and is there any news for Forza Horizon 5? Answer, or I will send an army of eggs to invade the world. Thank you, Eggmaster1234, your excellency. You know, I actually love eggs. Huh. So I'm tempted not to answer your questions just so I can see that sweet egg army. But I guess I better be professional and give it a crack. So as for Forza Horizon 4 DLCs, are they worth it? Well, that all depends on what you like most about the game. There are quite a few paid DLC packs on offer, like the Car Pass, the Formula Drift Car Pack, and the Best of Bond car pack, which give you access to more cars. So if you're a bit of a rev head and you want more vehicles, that might be something that appeals to you. Or there are expansions like Fortune Island, which adds a treasure hunt and more extreme weather and terrain. So if you like the idea of some extra questing and lightning storms and stuff, it could be worth a try. And then there's the LEGO Speed Champions expansion, which Will took a look at when it first came out last year. You can check out what he had to say about it on our various online channels. I can't believe he got to drive a LEGO car. I am so jealous. As for Forza Horizon 5, well, I'm sure that we'll see it on the horizon at some point. But the most recent Xbox Next Gen Games announcement teased a Forza Motorsport game instead. And I hear that the studio responsible for Forza Horizon might be focusing on other projects right now. So we may have to wait a little longer for it. Right, that is all the time we have for Ask SP today. If you've got a burning question to ask us, then go here and send it in. And make it a video question, so if it gets shown on the show, we'll send you a super cool GGSP prize pack. You know, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to see the Egg Army. I bet they're a crack team. I wonder what their general is like. Pretty hard-boiled, I reckon. <laughs>